Thanks, Russ. We've come a long way since being the Mac engine, only engine of 20 years ago. Today, Unity supports over 25 platforms, from mobile phones and the latest consoles to high-end desktop and everything in between. You can deploy your games to the largest number of platforms with Unity. And on the platforms team, our mission is to bring you stable and performant runtimes so you can meet your players wherever they want to play, even on day one. We were so proud to offer full launch day support for Nintendo Switch 2. And we're already seeing a strong Made With Unity lineup of amazing games, like the awesome co-op hit Lego Voyagers, which is available now, and Skate Story, which we cannot wait to play on December the 8th. And we also offer day one support for Android XR, with tools, features, and documentation to help you get started on this exciting new platform. But here's the thing. When you're releasing a multi-platform game, making a bunch of different builds for each of your platforms is really only one part of the journey. You actually have to publish that game everywhere, and that can be tricky. Before I joined Unity, I was a solo indie developer. I shipped a bunch of games across most of the platforms that Unity supports. But I really hit some hurdles when I came to make my first console game. I'll be honest with you, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to integrate all those different SDKs. And I think most developers don't, especially if you've never gone through the process before. And that's before you even start certification. And I remember thinking to myself, why is this so difficult? Why doesn't Unity just handle all this stuff for me? And I found that many of you shared that same sentiment. Well, in my work on the platforms team, I've made it our mission to solve that problem for you, which is why I'm thrilled today to introduce you to the Platform Toolkit. This is a new package you can use to integrate with platform SDKs with just one code path that works everywhere. We've started with the most critical areas you need to ship and pass certification, such as user management, controller management, save data, achievements. We've abstracted all of those things into a handy API that you call once, and it just works on all its supported platforms. We've even built systems to help you on platforms with and without SDKs, such as a proper save system, so you no longer have to write your own. So you're probably thinking, great, that means I don't have to rewrite my console code anymore. Well, it actually goes beyond that. We fully support not just consoles, but all major mobile and desktop platforms, including Steam. That's right, you use it once, it just works everywhere. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say you're using the Platform Toolkit to build your game for mobile. First, you integrate the Platform Toolkit into your project using our simple setup guides and samples. Then, you can unlock an achievement by getting the current user, accessing the achievement system, and then simply unlocking it. But what if you wanted to unlock that achievement on Steam? Well, there's nothing more to do. It's one code path, works everywhere. In fact, let's say this Steam game is a huge success and now you want to release it on Xbox. Easy, just import the platform support package for that console into your project and you're done. But it's not just about reducing the complexity of platform code. And if you're like me and you know, maybe failed certification a few times, we want to help you there too. This new API has built-in workflows and validation checks that help you pass certification by ensuring the correct SDK usage. And in fact, you don't even need to build to device to test them. You can run all the workflows directly in the editor and even simulate failures, such as a user logout, storage full, or a network issue. And to further co our commitment to production verification, we worked closely with our partners at Microsoft to put the platform toolkit through Xbox certification. And with our successful pass, this toolkit is proven ready for production use. And we continue to work with other partners to complete similar verification processes. We've been quietly working on this for a while now, and I'm so excited that I can finally announce it. And the best bit is coming in Unity 6.3. And I'm hugely excited for you to all go and try it and share your feedback. But this is just the start. We began with the most critical areas that you need to target, and we're going to continue to develop this toolkit adding new features and support for any new platforms in the future. Our goal is to remove as many obstacles as possible from the development journey so that you can all focus on what you do best, which is making great games. <laughs>